All right, welcome back everyone. We are on episode four, I believe, of John and Eric's epic adventures into Skyrim. So John the Righteous here, as he is now called, and, and now it's official because if you look at the save files, we finally updated his name in game and it separated out the two characters. So John Rorikson is, uh, we got 200 saves out of him, exactly 200. And John the Righteous apparently has his own very, very own save file now at level 35. We are, we, we have the ability to level up, you can see here, because we spent quite a bit of time crafting some potions at the end of our last episode. Uh, we're here in Whiterun. And these are all of the potions that we managed to craft. So we did 117 Frenzy Potions, uh, 16 of Fortify Health, which are basically just gold ones, right? A bunch of invisibility, a bunch of water breathing. Um, just just for the record, right, for everybody's record, I wrote, that, I wrote down the recipes because I'm so terrible with them, right? These are our money-making potions. For the... The, all of these frenzy ones, what we did is we used animal fat and falmer ears because those are like in tremendous abundance, at least the animal fat is because you can skin a dragon to get it. The water breathing potions, we use salmon roe and then Nordic barnacles, which are, are kind of rare, but they make really good money. You can see exactly how much they're worth there. Then we added a third ingredient. I can't really remember what it was. It, that kind of varied. And the invisibility potions were Charis eggs and vampire dust. So we used up all of our vampire dust, uh, probably about, well, I, I think we had 20 of them and that's what made this pile. This was like a, a separate recipe. And then these were, what are they? Um, mammoth hearts and giant's toes, right? Do really good fortify health potions. So what we're gonna be doing in this episode is trying to sell as much of all of this stuff as possible, right? We have a couple other things in here that we're trying to sell. We have the cultist robes who attacked us in the last episode. All of these different things, like we're gonna be breaking this down to learn its enchantment. Um, we have some raw dragon meat, but I don't know if we're gonna make anything out of it because it turns out that mammoth tomato stew is actually better than anything you can craft with dragon. But we're gonna be cleaning up all of this our inventory is more or less clear, right? We're doing pretty good. Um, we need to get rid of more of our potions, but we're doing reasonably okay here. Um, our carry weight's like two, 216, right? I try to keep the base carry weight around 200. That's that's how I know I'm doing okay, right? Anything above 215 is like, no, we gotta sell some crap. And so today's adventures, we're gonna be working here in Whiterun to sell as much as we can. Um, this this is a bug's quest. Uh, taking leave of Heimskirk's uh, script, his preaching script is kind of bugged out, so we have to wait until nighttime to do that. And I think today's episode, we're going to be taking on two different keeps. One of them is Fort Fellhammer. We're just going to kill the leader uh, while we're on our way back up to Dawnstar, because that's where you turn it back in. And we are going to be continuing Nightcaller Temple, so Waking Nightmare. Uh, we have way more enchantments and resistance to magic than we did before. So we'll talk to Arant. Erinder, I believe his name is, and uh, make our way clearing out the temple because he he tricked us. He told us that he was an agent of Mara. He actually used to be one of, um, oh my God, I've, I've spaced on the name of what the, Vermina, that's what it is, right? So yeah, he was a worshiper of Vermina. He led us there under false pretenses. We were like, no, right? We're not strong enough to do this, so we left. But we're going to see if we can head back and see if he's still suffering from all those problems. So we'll uh, we'll sell some stuff, right? We're down to 13,000 gold from training, so we are going to need a little bit more training. We'll sell a bunch of potions and miscellaneous stuff. We'll invest in a little bit of probably more heavy armor training because we have just from these potions here. I mean, just the frenzy potions. It's like, what's uh, that? That'd be like 100 times... 400 gold, so that's literally like 40,000 gold just from the Frenzy Potions. Never mind, you know, all these other potions that are worth a thousand gold each. So, it's probably like 80k in gold right there. So we're gonna sell what we can, get as much heavy armor training as we can, and then I'll do a quick report on... Oh, I'll, I'll show the training, right, once we have enough gold, and then we'll transition up to Fellhammer. So that's what our plan is. All right, so we're up to, oh my goodness, we're up to 30, oh, okay. Okay, we're down to 
3,100 gold, which is pretty good, right? Eric took his cut. Um, so we, we managed to sell like 15,000 worth of gold. Getting tired of hanging around talking all day. Well, why don't you train us? I'll show you what I can about protecting yourself. Oh my goodness, this is going to be really painful. Hopefully we don't go over um, to the next level. We're probably going to run out of gold, actually. Um, one, two, three, four. We can only do four. All right. Wow, we passed to level 80 for heavy armor. So that's good enough. We'll, we'll do a level up. Hopefully we won't pass to, pa uh, beyond 36, right? We'll stick it into Magicka. Nice. So we didn't. Uh, we used up all of our gold, but that's okay. Look, our speech is buffed to 107. Like, superhuman speech ability, right? And we're at 82 heavy armor. So we're, we're going to make really quick work out of that, out of getting up to uh, 100. Getting up to 100 heavy armor is just so important because we it uh, allows us to resist knockback staggers. The other really valuable perk that we can invest into, because we have two perk points, is this one right here. So damage from enemy shouts is reduced by 50%, and that is really valuable because it not only includes dragon shouts, but also the Draugr knockdowns, so that's pretty good. I think we'll throw a perk at this, just so that we're, we're not, like, short it at all. You know, but basically we can make sure that when when it's time to unlock this we can do it the moment we need to what was back up here oh yeah this is like spending um exchange a perk point for a dragon soul so no no, no we need our perk points if anything we'd rather exchange dragon souls for perk points we'd rather do the opposite and i think we'll hold on to our last perk points it's tough it's tough i don't believe there's anything else we can invest into here right we need more for uh two-handed so now we're down to 5,000 gold that's how it goes and we're gonna grab a bunch of potions and we are going to make our way up to Fort Fellhammer and beat the crap out of some bandits there all right we're back despite like three attempts this is our third attempt because just weird wonky stuff keeps happening where Eric won't get off his horse, or we're, like, attacked standing out here randomly, and our buffs don't take effect. But, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, sometimes this game is just painfully ridiculous on how weird things can happen. Rated red for carry weight and health. Um, I haven't checked that, to be honest. So we'll leave them out here. There was the other horse, right? We'll run on in. Now I'm like afraid to get on my horse and charge in because, oh, I missed. Oops. Like I'm afraid that Eric's gonna get stuck on his horse. Well, let's put a just a little mini healing one. Yeah, we'll use one of our one of our 19 decent healing potions, right? That arrow freaking bounced off of me. All right. So we'll take all their cloaks. Anything else just isn't very good. And we'll make our way back down. <sighs> Oops, what, what did I just take? I didn't want that, whatever it was. Get rid of that. Oh, an iron dagger? Yeah, no thanks. No thanks. Let's bring our horse in here. So, I'll, I'll just tell what happened. We attempted to do a full, like, horse, horse mounted attack, but for some reason, Eric just, like, Eric decided to not get off his horse or engage in combat in any way. And then we couldn't get him unstuck and we ended up crashing like twice. It it was really just ridiculous. Sometimes this game 
it make me cry. Arrested and sent to jail by a ghost of a guard yesterday. <laughs> Alright. Expert lock, huh? Bet we can get through this. And and if not, we'll uh we'll enter through the top, right? The hardest part is finding the start. I'm willing to waste like three more lockpicks on this. Is that it? Or no? I, I, uh, am <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Okay. A little bit more. Wow, see? So, like, once you once I find it, there it is, right? One lockpick. Let's see. Firewood. Yeah, we'll, we'll take some firewood. Anything else in here? Eric on your guard. Miscellaneous junk. Someone there. Now, this is a surprise. <laughs> no, good job, Eric. Uh, yeah, bandits. Bandits ain't got nothing on us. We're in. Whoa. Was was that Eric? No. Ow. Oh. I think I took that. Uh. Full force. Are we in combat? I think we are. Nope. No, we're clear, because you can't um you can't sanctify remains. If you're in combat. Take some of those. Thank you very much. We'll apply one of those healing pulses now. Ah. <sighs> At least we're getting all of our lockpicks back. That's the nice part about bandits, right? It's like the only nice part about bandits. Oh, a heavy armor book, nice. Chicken's egg. Eric, we don't have time for that. Oh, here was the, like the falling rocks. Didn't kill anyone though, which is too bad. Did we clear this place out yet? There's probably at least one more person. I think they're up top, right? What's this? A garnet, nice. Yep, that's it. So I think we have to go up top then. Maybe we were supposed to start up top to find the key to the downstairs area. But it's funny we're, whoa, I almost just fell down into that hole. We're so far along now that we don't even need the, uh, the iron and steel stuff on the ground, right? Oh yeah, Bosmer is being able to snack on them, like literally. Oh my goodness, um, I just got spooked by my horse running up to me. Yeah, so these weren't connected, right? So this is the garrison, this is where the boss is. We didn't even, we probably didn't even have to clear out the lower levels, because I think you only have to kill the boss. What's that? Iron mace? Not very fancy. Did you hear Hello. Level 19. Easy. Eh, that's kind of valuable. I don't care. <laughs> it's only worth 300 gold. Can we harvest from that? No. Too bad. Anything else here? Black Arrow. That's a good book. Some of those. No, we'll unlock this and take what, what meager supplies they have, right? I really need to be, wow. Okay, so two two novice, novice robes there, three amethyst. Nice ring. And some potions, some gold, reasonable staff, some decent tinder. The um, flammable oil, what we can do is turn it into is it survivalist? We can turn it into superlative tinder, right? So I'll I'll start grabbing those when I see them, because why not? I hate bandits and thieves. 
Iron Helmet. Potions. Any good books here? Alright, some salt. Eh. Okay. So that's pretty much it. What we'll do now is... Because this is cleared, we'll head back up, we'll turn that in, and then we'll head up to Nightcaller Temple. We'll probably skip turning in the quest, it'll probably be like 300 gold or something. I like to pretend that we'd actually bring our horse inside the temple, where it's warm, but... Because horses can fit through doorways, right? I mean, yeah. Yeah, they can fit through a door. I'm looking at the doorway here, like, yeah, they can fit through that. Stop and think about it, but... What's that? I wonder what great battles were fought here. What's our healing auras looking like? They are... Not as good as they could be, so we'll... We'll, them up. we'll apply it to Eric and myself, because I think they're 20 minutes. Nice. Anything else we should probably take? I mean, we have our uh, the magic resistance, right? We also have a lot of these. So, the poisons. I think we're going to be taking full advantage of those. Alright, we're back. So we're here to deal with the Skull of Corruption, which is down there. Problem is, we have to get around this. Damn it! The priests must have activated this barrier when the miasma was released. Uh, looks difficult to breach. Impossible, actually. Hmm. I wonder. There may be a way to bypass the barrier, but I must check their library and confirm it can be done. You seem to know a lot about this place, and we're just kind of going through. I this is a refresher. there's no point in concealing the truth any longer. My knowledge of this temple comes from personal experience. I was a priest of Vermina. Hmm. You should have told me the truth. Yes, you're right. I should have. But I didn't know what to say. When the orcs raided the temple, I fled. I left my brothers and sisters behind to die. I've spent the last few decades living in regret and seeking redemption for Mara. And by her benevolence, I will right my wrongs. Okay. I've still I'm have ready my now. key to the library. Whenever you're ready, let's move on. Um I need to trade some things with you. Can we give him like learning how to room, eh? I'll be glad to help. He has a few potions. Can we give him, like, a better weapon here? I don't have any better weapons. If I had known that, I, I definitely would have, right? Iron mace. We mustn't tarry. The skull oh, needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. Maybe I should have kept that glass war axe. Alright, where are we going? May, may, oh, we can trade him one of the orcish, uh, just or, like, maces that we find. Be careful. We're certain to find more of the Awakened within. All right. Here we go. Is someone there? I knew it. I, are you serious? I wasn't trying to do a, uh, a sprinting no, no! attack, by the way. Anybody else? I'm trying to clear the room first. This library used to be filled with arcane volumes. Now no? almost everything has been burned. Yeah, that's too bad. We need is still intact. Here, why don't we loot them since I, I was expecting there to be more down below. I'm honestly a little bit surprised. Huh. Varieties of Daedra, that's a cool book. Sanctify them in the name of RK, right? How's that as a nice backhand? Oh, not bad, okay. These are fancy. I really like the design of these robes. We're not evil, though, so we're not going to wear them, but... 
And yes, all of these, God, this is worth so much gold, right? I guess we can grab all of it and give it to Eric, right? That should be fine. Yep, Eric, come here. It just feels right. I'll be sure to put it to good use. Uh, uh, uh. We, as we go on, we probably won't be looting all of the orcish gear just because we're going to have like too much. How do we get two? Oh, right. One of the, uh, Let me know if there's anything else you need. maybe we can give, I don't remember his name. This guy, right? Yes. Here, hold on. Learning how to room, eh? I'll be glad to help. Yeah. Let's give him an orcish mace first, but. Why don't we give him a bow, right? It might come in handy. Nah. We'll have him switch to the orcish mace. Ah, there you go, bro. The skull needs to be destroyed as soon as possible. How's that for an upgrade, huh? Why? Why am I doing these running sprints? Whoa. Yikes! Like, I, I was not trying to do running attacks. Barring any more interruptions, perhaps we can locate That was terrifying. Alright, what am I looking We're for? Looking that was for terrifying. Alchemical recipes called See, I was running right by them. Dried. The tome bears the likeness of Vermina on the cover. It should be here somewhere. Alright, Book of Vermina. If you the check the shelves around the balcony. Bone meal? I'll check around the lower level. Snowberries, yeah, we'll take all those. Silence, an illusion spellbook, nice. Oh, we got 20 illusion, that's great. <laughs> and we'll, we'll come back for all that. Unless we, <laughs> do we want to give it to him? We could give him like full orcish armor. I don't know if he's perked out for it though. Take those though. Everything's burned. It's all burned. I think it's up above. Oh, an expert level chest. We'll take this out. Take or take this on, I should say. No. Was was that it? No. Nice, nice. Found it. I, no, I wasn't trying to attack Eric, but um, the like the the swing, I would, basically I lost control of my sword. I don't know how else to say it. That's what was happening. Oh, we we're so close. Nice. What we got? Lawless Peridot, some junk robes. Wow, that was awful. But we got some XP out of it, so that's all that really matters. So, um, ruined books can be deconstructed to get their pages. Ooh. That's an interesting book. I think we were given an opportunity to switch to worshipping Shagorath, but... But it didn't actually, like... Or it didn't fully prompt us. I think we already have the firmament, right? And if we... Oh, we're here. Yeah, here it is. Dreamstride. So... Uh, masters of the art of alchemy. Basically, they invented a potion that allows you to travel through dreams. <laughs> Woohoo! So there, I saved us ten minutes. Yes, my son. What is it I can help with? Found it. Let me take a look. Mara be praised. There is a way past the barrier to the inner site. It involves a recipe for a liquid known as Vermina's Torpor. A uh, potion? Yes. The Torpor grants an ability the priests of Vermina called the Dream Stride, using dreams to travel distances in the real world. That's honestly really cool. Right? Um, that's amazing, right? We, we've dealt with talking dogs, so... Quite amazing, yes. Alchemy and the blessings of a divine distilled down into a ingestible liquid. 
Sadly, I have yet to see it function in person. Eric, you okay? I guess I get to be the uh, test subject. As a sworn priest of Mara, the elixir won't work for me. The torpor will only work for priests of Vermina, or the unaffiliated. <laughs> okay, well, uh, it, well, it could kill me, right? I'm a priest of RK. No, all my research points in the opposite direction. This is the exact liquid the priests would drink. The only question in my mind is whether you would be granted the dream stride. Otherwise, the worst that could happen is a bad aftertaste. I swear upon Lady Mara that I would never let any harm befall you. All right. Um, where can we find it? I believe we'll there try. is a laboratory in the East Wing. If we proceed there, we should be able to locate a sample. Sounds good. The laboratory adjoins the library. I'm hoping we'll find a sample of the torpor left undamaged. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it seems to be working fine now. I think it's these, honestly, that... Whoa! My goodness, Eric. Yeah, we'll come back for them, right? Anything else to loot around here? There probably is, but like I said, we'll, we'll come back later. Oh my god, they're level 50! Yeah, I don't care about you. Yeah, see, it pushed me forward. Super weird. Now that they've been dealt with, oh, okay, that's we weird. Find the torpor. Uh, how will I know what it looks like? It should be in a small bottle, very similar to a potion. I'll begin searching up here. Okay, hey Kai, what's up? The torpor should be in a tall bottle. Dark liquid. If you find it, bring it to me. Gold. And a flawless ruby. Nice. Take some of these, some fire salts, Nordic barnacle. Found it. There's, there's your small bottle. Oh god, I have to chug this. I'll grab that in a moment. We're gonna Girls who never want to pay to keep their forts. They just keep slipping further into ruin. What else? Hagraven feathers. Oh yeah, man, they were well stocked here, huh? What was that? Oh, Eric. It's like, what did I see? A carrot. So what's interesting is that by having a carrot on the shelf, it implies that carrots have alchemical properties that other are otherwise just not really like taken seriously right by the rest of uh skyrim lots of fire salts gotta love it right yeah tap root come on eh, nice wraith teeth giant's toe some other stuff oh man i just took some dog meat hold on we're gonna Orker meat, right? Yeah. Lots of resist shock. What's that? Restore potion. Void salts. Ooh. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Anything up here? Yeah, a couple of things, right? Uh, oh, yeah, here. We should. Uh, a bunch of them. And you. Any other greens? I think there's some stuff on the table, right? There's some on that table, too. Take these. Couple of these. Oh, nice. Nice human flesh. Excellent. When we're hungry later, right? Anything over here? Yep. Iron serving dish. Oh, there we go. Think that's everything. Think that's everything. Except for this. And we'll, uh... 
We'll come back in later. I am gonna completely forget to grab all of these. So. It just yeah. feels right. Of course. Orcish stuff, orcish stuff. Are we still over encumbered? We are. By like four. Lead up. We'll dump some stuff into there. Like this and. How about we get rid of... It's like the junkiest thing we have. This, well, we'll get rid of this, right? The Master Clavicus file, <laughs> maybe not. Maybe not that. We should hold on to that, it's kind of special. It's unique. A piece of wood, we don't need that. And... I don't know, we'll get rid of some food items, right? Like an apple pie. I want, I want my apple pie, though. Random catfish. Oh, hold on, we got an autosave. There we go. At first, I thought, what do you want me to do? We get? might be able to give Eric, like, one more thing. I don't want to give him the Staff of Fury. So we'll give him a cloak. That's perfect. We're we're like at the exact anyway? correct carry weight. Yes, my son. All right, I found it. On relief, you discovered a bottle intact. This place looks as though it was ransacked by the orcs. So, I've taken us this far, but you need to guide us the rest of the way. Drink. Here, now. Dawn Star's fate rests in that tiny bottle. The longer we wait the more damage Vermina could be doing to those poor people. I understand your hesitation, but I promise you that it works. All right. Let's continue. We still have much to do. The only thing I want to do is quickly run down here and uh, see where this ends, right? We, here, yeah, this, this is what I want to do. Let's open that. We could harvest the elk antlers if we really wanted to. Part of me. Is tempted, yeah. It, it like barely put us at the uh, at the carry weight there. What are the the heaviest? Oh, troll fat, right? Yeah. So those are some of the things that we can get rid of from our inventory here. Giant's toes. Giant's toes are heavy. I did not realize they were that heavy. All right, let's drink it. Nothing to lose, right? Like you said, worst case, bad aftertaste. Here it is. The orcs have breached the inner sanctum, Brother Baron. Oh. We must hold. We can't allow the skull to fall into their hands. But no more than a handful of us remain, Brother Baron. Okay, we're down here. And we have no choice. The miasma must be released. The miasma? But, Brother, we have no alternative. That's the will of their men. And what about you, Brother Casimir? Are you prepared to serve the will of their men? I've made my peace. I'm ready. Then it's decided. Brother Casimir, you must activate the barrier and release the miasma. Let nothing stop you. Brother Thorin, we must remain here and guard this skull with our lives if necessary. Agreed to the death. Then let it be done. Farewell, my brothers. Oh, okay, that's weird. This is really weird. Oh, this is what it looked like when it was uh, working well, right? Or, or like the place was properly restored. I'm gonna try and sprint just because it looks so wonky when we don't. Yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, release the miasma! Oh my- <laughs> Look, it's Eric! Eric, you were in my dream! Oh, I think I have to take this, right? And that'll reduce the barrier. So we're here. We're here where the barrier was set up. 
There we go. We did it. <laughs> it, it worked. Mara, be praised. You vanished after drinking the torpor and materialized on the other side. I've never seen anything quite like it. Eric brought us back. <laughs> it served a purpose. It was remarkable. That was great. How I envy you. I can only imagine the excitement of seeing history through the eyes of another. Sadly, I am resigned to just reading of its wonders through my research of the skull. We'll discuss it later. We need to proceed. Indeed. My reverence for Vermina's machinations should not take precedence over our mission. My apologies. The inner sanctum lies ahead. We must reach the skull and put an end to Dawnstar's troubles. Lead on, my friend. Come. We must get to the skull and destroy it. Big handle. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Of course, we have a lot more people to kill. Oh, some of them are. Whoa! Stop them! Some of them are already dead, but some of them are not. That's the end of that. All right. Quick work of them. What's that? Sup oh my god, a superlative health potion! Yes! Excellent. We always desperately need more superlative health potions. And less doe antlers. Anything else we can get rid of here? Uh, we'll hold on to the giant's toes. But the troll fat... We'll just get rid of troll fats abundant enough that it's in with salt. It'll give us a little bit more time, right? I thought I saw something. Wow, filled black soul gem and a garnet. I don't know what we're gonna do with that, but I thought we had passed a, a dead body that we hadn't looted yet. Yeah, this guy. We'll make sure to get him on the way out. We'll get everybody on the way out. Did you hear something? What the heck was that? Yes, uh, it like automatically did a um a running attack. Not what I was trying to do there, but you know, look. Luckily, I looked down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Time to end this little game. There you are. Oh. I fought worse than you. Hold on. We gotta take out any other mages. What a coward. He didn't even put up a proper fight. <laughs> Damn. Master Restoration Robes. Restoration are 20% less to cast magic and regenerates 300% faster? Yo, now that's what I'm talking about. And a remarkable healing potion too, or a uh, magical potion, excuse me. All right, who we got, who we got? Dead. Who's alive, sound off. Yeah, a lot of them are dead. Not that I'm complaining, dead's fine. Oh, quick, drop something. Any books we can drop? I'd rather kind of hold on to these. You could just get rid of Shalador's insights. Uh, we don't even know whose flute that is, but we're gonna hold on to it. All right, we'll just eat the giant's ah! toe. We're still over encumbered though. What did I pick up? That was so heavy. Or was it, was it my beef stew running out? It was, the beef stew ran out. I lost 50 carry weight. Ooh, okay. If we can get up, uh, we're just gonna have to dump them onto somebody. Ever fought here? We'll pick them up on the way out. Glad that didn't happen while we were in combat though, right? Seriously. So we get rid of that and that and that. All right, that's good.
Oh yeah, this. This better be good. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> wow. Okay. Glad we double checked him. Oh, I missed. All right, I think this might be a boss room. Wait, Baron Thorin, you're alive. No thanks to you, Casimir. Oh. I no longer use that name. I'm Miranda, priest of Mara. You're a traitor. You left us to die and then ran before the miasma took you. No, I, I, I was scared. I wasn't ready to sleep. Enough of your lies. I can't allow you to destroy the skull, priest of Mara. Then you leave me no choice. Give me. Sanctify this guy right off. I knew Varen and Thoric. They were my friends. Is this punishment for my past? Is it Mara's will to torment me so? They we they were trying to kill us. And had they succeeded, Dawnstar's fate would be sealed. You have a unique way of looking at things, my friend. I was just stating the it's obvious. Time. The skull must be destroyed. If you'll stand back, I'll perform the ritual granted to me by Lady Mara. First, an incantation to remove the barrier. Let's take a look at this thing. I don't like wizards and their spells. Give me an axe any day. Fancy. Okay, go ahead. I call upon you, Lady Mara. A skull hungers. It yearns for memories and leaves nightmares in its wake. Grant me the power to break through this barrier and to send the skull to the depths of oblivion. He's deceiving you. When the ritual's complete, the skull will be free, and then Arinder will turn on you. Quickly, kill him now. Kill him and claim the skull for your own. Vermina commands you. You think we should do it? Do we do it? Let him finish. We can do it, bro. Do it. Takes a while, damn. There it is. Too bad there weren't any sound effects with it, though. That's a little disappointing. Forgive me if I don't appear relieved. This temple has taken its toll on me. Uh, so we're done then? <laughs> yes. The skull has been destroyed, and Dawnstar is safe. I'd constructed a meager shrine tomorrow in the antechamber where we entered. My intention was to spend the rest of my years here, burying the past and praying for forgiveness. But instead, I wish to offer my services to you. If you ever wish to journey with me, I'll be here. Hmm, thank you. There's no need to thank me. What you did was for the people of Dawnstar. If anyone should be thanked, it should be you. There we go, but we're not fully done yet. We also have our Master Illusion robes. Illusion spells are 20% less to cast, magic regenerates 300% faster. And searching our hollard remains here, we have the Dwarven Sword of Debilitation, not bad, as well as a Dwarven Mace of Torpor, nice. I thought you used to get a unique, uh, excuse me, a unique weapon 
out of them, but I suppose that is not the case here. It just feels right. I don't think sure I can give Eric uh, these weapons, can I? No, Eric's fully over encumbered. Going, so what we will do is we are going to end our episode right there. We destroyed the staff of uh, or the skull of corruption, right? We have ended Vermina's blight on the city of Dawnstar. We're gonna loot the, everything that's left in this place. We're gonna spend the rest of the episode uh, or, or in-game doing that live on Twitch. And then we will see what adventures we come to next time. So thank you very much for hanging out with us. Have a wonderful night. Bye everyone.